a flaw in Log4j, a Java library for loading error messages in applications, is the most high-profile security risk on the internet right now. It comes with a severity score of 10 out of 10. ZDNet's Danny Palmer has been monitoring this ongoing story closely for us. Uh, Danny, first and foremost, tell me what devices and applications are at risk. Well, the bad news is it's a vulnerability that affects everything that uses this particular Java login library, which is a lot of applications, many enterprise applications, many open source applications, lots of applications and software that many people commonly use, use uh, Log4j. And in some cases, uh, we don't even know if Log4j is used in them because of the way it's implemented uh, and uh, developed. It could be put in somewhere down the supply chain of how these products are built. So uh, the short answer there is potentially lots of things, which is why this is so worrying. I and mean, there's been some confirmed cases of what it affects. And the thing where it was confirmed uh, this affected was Minecraft, the game. And there's a few other things like Steam and iCloud, which were said to be vulnerable within the first few hours of this uh, being publicly disclosed uh, on the 9th of December. But as we're finding out, there's more and more applications which are vulnerable, including, in some cases, it seems, cybersecurity products, uh, which is very worrying for uh, everyone in, involved and everyone who uses enterprise uh, cloud applications or enterprise applications of various sorts, uh, which is why this has become such a major issue to uh, round off the year, it seems. Uh, th th there's this major rush to fix this vulnerability in the run-up to Christmas. Clearly a good reason for this to score a 10 out of 10 on the vulnerability scale. Um, let's just get into it. What is Log4j? Well, essentially, the vulnerability allows the attackers to remotely execute code on uh, you know, de devices, machines, software, which use uh, Log4j. Uh, that means they can uh, you know, remotely access it. They don't from uh, the, the internet somewhere and issue commands for it to do things. I mean, there's already been instances of uh, attackers launching attacks using this. I mean, one of the first types of attacks that was seen being used to take advantage of this, as with many vulnerabilities when they when they emerge, is crypto mining. Malware, which takes over machines to use the power of it to mine for cryptocurrency. There's also been other instances of malware being dropped. And researchers have also noted things like Cobot Strike, a penetration testing tool, which is often used in the starting process of cyber attacks, which allow attackers to uh, steal usernames, passwords, all sorts of other things which they can use to escalate uh, privileges on infected devices in order to you know, carry out further attacks. You know, ransomware, one of the key attacks often used with Cobalt Strike, though at the time of recording, uh, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of real ransomware attacks uh, exploiting this, but there have been warnings that it could happen. It's one of those things where this vulnerability is so easy to exploit and that Log4j is used so widely, it's it's got the potential for massive disruption. Uh, Jen Easterly, the head of the uh, of CISA in the United States, said it's possibly one of the worst vulnerabilities she's encountered. And, it, it, and the others have said, no, this could be you know, there and an issue for years, because in some cases, it might be just difficult to find out if it's even running on your networks because it's it, it can be so embedded deep down in software you might not even know has log4j as a part of it this is absolutely overwhelming for so many with so many users being affected whether they realize it or not um so what can affected users do to help themselves mitigate this risk well, many of many cybersecurity companies and many uh, national cybersecurity bodies, like the uh, National Cybersecurity Centre here in the UK, are urging uh, people to apply the security updates for the latest version of Log4j in order to make sure there's the least chance possible of uh, being compromised. But of course, there's also the problem here, though, where even if you apply the patch, it's possible 
you might have been compromised already. So there's various advice out there to you know scan your network and, and look what's going on but for suspicious activity in order to determine if there are attackers on your network already taking advantage of this. I mean, it looks like this. Th there's no way this is going to be any sort of instant fix. Uh, there's been various warnings that you know, this is going to be something that could last for years because it's not something that you as one simple thing which needs to... Uh, in order to be done in order to fix it. So it, it, it's just something that it's going to be here for the long run, unfortunately, it seems. But there's plenty of advice out there from uh, cybersecurity companies, from uh, national cybersecurity bodies, of course, on ZDNet as well, hopefully. And uh, in order to keep yourself safe from this, because, yeah, it looks like this, is, this could be a, a long-term thing. And we're only just at the start of this, it seems. I mean, when the story uh, first uh, no, broke on Friday, the reports of, oh, there's you know, a few hundred uh, detections you know, every, every so often looking at this. Uh, a few days afterwards now, we're looking at uh, reports saying, oh, there's a, there's a thousand attempts at exploiting uh, Log4j every single second, which is a lot. And this seems to be building and building and building. So... It's one of those things that, unfortunately, it seems some experts are suggesting might get worse before it gets better. We're probably going to see more attacks using this, uh, more you know, dangerous attacks using this. You know, something because crypto mining malware is bad, but there's worse things that can be on your network. So, unfortunately, it looks like this is just the beginning for this, but there are lots of people out there working to try and make sure this has as least impact as possible. And it's going to be a lot of work, but hopefully we can get there in the long run. Just like Danny said, this is the very beginning of an ongoing issue. So be sure to stick with Danny Palmer and ZDNet to keep up with the latest surrounding the Log4j vulnerability. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things cybersecurity.